What's up again all Gooners, all Arsenal fans, you know this one, North London Derby. This is the one that put pen to paper. Now, this one definitely can get Arteta sacked. This one can get Arteta sacked. Definitely, without a doubt, this one can get Arteta sacked. Um, but as you can see on the screen, definitely have the starting lineup for Arsenal. I have a starting lineup for um, Tottenham as, as pods, to be exact. Shittenham at Spurs, Spuds, whatever you want to call it. But anyways, that is my that is the starting lineup I have. But first thing, let's let me get into a bit of administration first. That number, that figure that you see right here, yeah. Six hundred and eighty-one. Definitely, I would definitely love it. I would appreciate it if you guys subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Each time my content drops, definitely means you're the first, you're the first one to pick it up. You're going to pick it up, drop a like, and I'll definitely, and I'll really, really appreciate it. That's it for administration, as I was saying. Let's get back to the meat of the matter. Now, this one is a very peculiar game because it can definitely get Mikel Arteta sack. Even the fans that are on Mikel Arteta's side, such as myself, it, it just, this game can, can, can turn like a switch. The thing about it is that form does not matter when it comes on to North London Derby. Any Derby at, at that, form is thrown out of the door. It all boils all boils down to what happened on the day so so arsenal i'm getting threats already i have sports fan telling me that i have to do massive amount of things i have to do a variety of things because we made a bet we take a bet yeah we take a bet so you guys better get the job done we take a bet and I don't want to wear an, a Tottenham jersey. I do not want to wear a Tottenham jersey. I do not want to wear. So you guys, you better turn up. I want to see a Tottenham fan in an Arsenal jersey. That would feel good to me. Yeah. So definitely. All right. So what, what I'm saying now, I want you to take a good look at the, the Tottenham lineup. This is their previous lineup that they went with against um, Chelsea Football Club. Um, I may assume that um one change likely to happen that is actually Roden and Ben Davis it is likely to happen we're not sure but it is likely likely to happen and I see where um Jose Marino really have a bit of faith in Roden he's a young lad but he's also a, a good defender now we know Tottenham formation 4-2-3-1 but it depends on the opposition. They tend to hand over the, the possession of the ball and sit deep, defend, low block and try to keep the clean sheet. Keep the game as tight as possible and competitive. That is how they operate. Now, take that out of the way. As I said before, it's a North London derby which means anything can happen. Thing about it is that there's a likely chance that fans may be in the stadium. Strong chance that fans may be in the stadium. That means that the Tottenham Hotspurs fans are going to be hopped and running and ready and rearing to go for this game. And they will be on our players back. You know Arsenal fan um, players, they are very fragile mentally. Extremely fragile. I've never seen such a player. I've never seen such footballers who are so mentally fragile. And the slightest thing can throw them away. Just the addition of fans can throw them away. Now, let me run through the Tottenham Hotspurs starting lineup before I go into the big guns, Arsenal Football Club. Now we have Ruglion. No, in goal. Let me start in goal first. My apologies. Let me start in goal. We have Hugo Lloris, their captain. He's in goal. Always ready for the Northland Derby. And we know these are the type of players that they love these things. They relish the North London, London Derby. Right back, Serge Aurier. Joe Roden um, and Eric Dyer as the centre back pairing. I think that we can exploit them because Eric Dyer is very slow, sluggish, and he commits a lot 
and he commits heavily when he, whenever he's making a, tato, a tackle. Now, left back, Rogelion, very good left back. And I can tell you, it's a, it's a fact, he's a very good left back, especially going, um, going forward. Midfield pairing, Sissoko and Poi he Emil Hoiberg. Pierre Emil Hoiberg. Ooh, hard to call. Sissoko, Sissoko dominant midfield. Dominant, and I mean a dominant midfield where someone is so hard to take the ball from. He's, it was, whilst he's in possession, you cannot, um, you cannot take the ball from him. And he can go, he goes into tackle extremely hard and aggressive. He wins his tackle, wins his aerial battle, wins his 1v1. Dominant midfielder, very good midfielder. Oiberg, technical, pass, move, retain possession, keep possession. An extremely technical player. Move in front of them. If attacking three and we have seen um, Jose Moreno um, deploy and Dumbele and more attacking a position we know for a fact that in the defensive midfield third that is his preferred position but since of recently Jose Moreno has um, deployed him in a more attacking role so on the right hand side you mean son they're gonna in they will interchange son and Bergvine will interchange so Bergvine and the left or son on the right so you could have son on the left also which is i think that is his preferred position so i'll make the necessary adjustment to that and bervine on the on the right now these two players are very quick they exploit defenses and they exploit spaces in behind defenses now we know arsenal we're not good defending we're not good attacking we're just not good anyways and Dumbele, he's a problem for me definitely if thomas party doesn't play Ndombele can control the midfield, the middle of this pitch. Last game, I see Ndombele of Angola Kante running about in circles, running, running in rings. And Angola Kante is not someone that you can really toy with. And I've seen Ndombele twist him and turn him all over the pitch. Let, let him look clueless. He looked clueless when Ndombele had him going. But that is their for, um, attacking three. And up front, their main man, Hurricane, Jose Marino, did his press conference and said there's a strong chance Hurricane might be available for that match. I'm not sure if they might take the risk, but knowing Jose Marino, or Jose Marino, I think he will take that risk because he wants to get a win out of this game. These are the type of game that Jose Marino loves. He relish, and I'm going to use that word again, he relish playing against Arsenal. He loves playing against Arsenal. Because he always, he's, he's the type of person who loves to prove a point against Arsenal. But I think this is the time where we should or shall stand and take advantage of this opportunity. Now, let's get to the mentally fragile guys. The guys who are, who are not scoring, who are consistently letting the fans down. Arsenal Football Club. And I am watching you guys. I am watching you guys keenly because there's no way you can put on such performance in the Europa League. I'm not going to say that. I think we should just use the young guns. Use the young guns in the, in the Premier League as well and let them grow. Let them, let them fail and they will learn from their failure. Because these senior guys, they, are, they have no clue how to fight. They have no fight in their mental um, um, capacity. These are the type of things that annoys me. Because the younger guys are showing much a better fight than these senior guys. And the senior guys are the ones who have the big pocket of pain, getting a lot, a lot of money for doing nothing, basically. Now, enough of the rant. Let's move on. In goal, Bern Leno, best keeper in the game, um, in the club at the moment. That in game, in the club. But he's definitely one of the best in the world. Definitely. He's fall, he maybe fall inside the top 10 category worldwide that is a fact now right back is the Maitland Niles as you can see whenever Maitland Niles play close to Pepe they always put together a few passes do things together he's the best partnership for is um, Nicolas Pepe and he's the best 1v1 defender we have and we know for a fact that on the left hand side you don't want human son running at Hector Bellerin because Hector Bellerin cannot defend to save himself he, may, he might be good going, going forward, but he cannot defend. Um, Ainsley Maitland has looked real good in the defensive midfield position today. Box to box, extremely good. Getting forward, defending as well. Um, also contributing to the attack. And he looked he look real good. But 
He's the best right back at the, at, at the club. And I'll definitely put and play my right back. My defensive pair would be Olin and Gabriel. I wanted to play Mari alongside Olin. And I hear a lot of people talking about two left footed defenders. It does matter. It does matter. You play two right footed defenders, it does matter. It's the same thing. Once the players are smart and can do what they are told to, told to do. So, but for this purpose, Olin, Gabriel, they have a good partnership going. I think we can work with them. Um, left back, Karen Tierney, my captain. He should have been the captain for the club without a doubt. And, I, and there's no question about it. I will not question that because he should be the captain. Our captain right now does not have the mental capacity to be a captain. Is the first one to drop his head whenever things get rough. Now moving in the midfield area, we have Thomas Party, El Nini, better partnership. We're, um, we're still not sure if Thomas Party will um, join the team, the first team, because he might be pre he might go into training today. So we're still not sure as yet. But definitely Thomas Party, El Nini. If Thomas Party is available, if El, if, if Thomas Party is not available, we will see Danny Sabayas come in and take that and take that slot. In the front three, because both formations are 4-2-3-1. I'm not sure if I uh, clarified that with you guys first, but both formations are 4-2-3-1. In the, the, the attacking three, we have Nelson on the right, Saka on the left, and Joe Willock in the attacking midfield position. Reason why? And I would, I would, I would say Lacazette played very well in the attacking midfield position today. He played a, a very good game in the attacking position. So there's there's a possibility that we might see Lacazette at that position, deployed at that position again. And we know that Pierre America Bombing love playing alongside with Lacazette because they have a good combination and they have a good understanding and a good relationship on the field. Now, up top, our captain, Pierre America Bombing, talisman, goal scorer, and he's not clicking. It's not clicking. This is a match in which you should definitely turn up. And I can tell you, fans will even forget about the last two months or so. It's so easy for fans to forget the bad patches and easy to fans move on in the good stead just by uh, putting out a good performance. That is how fans operate. And you have to understand that this football is a, is, a, is a game of results. And fans' emotions act off results. I'm happy today because we won. If we have lost, if we would have lost, I would be sad, crying, munching, all different type of things. But we have won. It gives us, it gives us confidence. How many games? What? Oh, come on, really? It, it gives us confidence moving on to the next game. So, that's it. Pierre America bombing. No, my prediction. I never like predict Arsenal to lose a game. But at this point in time, I will definitely be honest. Tottenham Aspers are on fire. They are flying high especially in the league and I will not say Arsenal will lose to Tottenham I'll go my prediction Tottenham 1 Arsenal 1 and that is how I think it will go now please tell me what, tell me what you, be, you think would be the best starting lineup also give me your score prediction put your score prediction inside the chat box put your score prediction inside the comment comment it comment it and as I, as I always say this is Military Guna TV, MGTV, like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell so as soon as a content drop, you will definitely get it. Military Guna TV, I'm out.